How are you today? I wanted to show you this amazing wave. It's kind of shaped like an angel, you know, body, hands here, hands in prayer, wing, but it's just a powerful wave of energy. The amplitude was high. It was in the 50s, and that's much higher than we've seen for about two weeks. Uh, so it was a great, strong energy. And I wanted to show you something because it looks a lot like a wave of energy of white light that we saw, of white resonance that we saw two weeks ago. See right here on the 15th, as soon as I saw today's wave, it reminded me of this. And I almost wonder, has the energy come back around? Did it take two weeks? <laughs> Or is this just something new landing? And the timing of these things coming back around, it's just interesting to wonder about it. Well, this was a very, very, this is, this was a very, very powerful wave of energy. You know, I wonder, do these, do waves like this just land in us? You know, do they just occur because we didn't seem to see it again. Really, we haven't seen anything like it, like its shape until the 26th. <laughs> Sorry, it's a two weeks later, the, you know, the day I'm making this video. I wanted to show you something that was interesting on this powerful tube wave. And that is that, you know, a lot of times these waves, there's red energy that comes after them or, an image that's mostly in red. And that happened this time. And I don't know if you can see that there seems to be a face in here looking to the right outlined in this red. But what I did was I doubled it. And when I doubled it, it looked like this. So I took it, I doubled it and mirrored it. To me, it looked like a Chinese mask, you know, like the, the Chinese guys with the long mustaches or possibly beards. And in fact, the Chinese have funeral masks like this, and they they were to ward off evil spirits. You know, the mask was for protection, protection of the darkness. When I mirrored it in the other direction, it came out looking almost like a butterfly. And underneath this butterfly figure, see this right here? It looks like a man. Here's a, a face, two arms, almost just up to the elbow, ribs, and then his abdomen seems to be covered. It almost looks like, I don't know, is he being operated on? Is something going on there? That was interesting. I don't know what it means, but it does look like if this, if this is, if we're looking at this as a, like a map of human consciousness, then we could wonder if the desire to ward off evil spirits is linked with this transformation and this strange thing going on with the man, you know, maybe we need protection. And it's interesting that there was a something from the Chinese culture. Previously, recently, I talked about the white buffalo wave. And that's from American Indian culture. I wanted to show you another interesting cultural aspect that seems to be on the chart and it's here right here. So this is the red wave. I made a video about it. I'll link the video down below. But what I did was I doubled this one. And when I saw this, what I kind of felt like there's something ready to reveal itself at the edge of our subconscious awareness. And part of the reason I, I said it that way is because there's, there's so much red on here, so much red and yellow. I associate those colors on the chart with transformation. I talked all about this image in the video, so I'll put that down below. What's interesting is at first when I doubled the wave, it looked like a skull. But then I realized that it was really a skull covered with something like a helmet. And this Viking helmet was perfect because it has horns. And you see there's there's really almost the idea of horns coming off this helmet. Here's the image without the Viking over it. And you can see it is. It's like a it's like a head and the helmet is basically the white part. It's interesting because there's also two eyes here, one in red here and one in red here, kind of covered or shaded by the helmet. And then you have the idea here of horns coming off the helmet. And so what this reminded me of was 
the Viking stories, like, for example, the story of the Norse god Thor. And what's interesting is that Thor also defeats the darkness during Ragnarok, the final battle, the final spiritual battle between the gods of light and the gods of darkness. In the Norse mythology, Thor slays the serpent, very much like the archangel Michael or St. George, who slays the dragon. And I thought it was interesting that this image would come up when there was also the Chinese cultural image, which was showing protection from evil spirits. I wanted to also show you this. I thought it was interesting. This is a chart from 2020. And it's really interesting because you see here, this was uh, July 1st, 2020. This is European dating. This at the time I called that another white buffalo because it looked like the buffalo with actual horns. It's interesting we have a head wearing a helmet that seems to have horns on today's chart. Here I called this a flag, you know, a flag waving in our unconscious into the subconscious. And sure enough, our nations in general are in trouble, um, especially this one, <laughs> the USA, among others. You know, we're having our national sovereignty challenged all the nations really. And it's interesting that in 2020, in summer of 2020, before so many of us were aware of this, it showed in the subconscious. We also had the white buffalo again. And look at this. We also had this similar type of wave to today the long tube, and then one beside it that looks like a wing. Now, in 2020, it's very interesting. This was at July 3rd, so one day before Independence Day in the U.S. This I called the red spider. This is the biggest one that I've ever seen on the chart in the few years that I've been looking. But for quite a while, in, especially in 2019, uh, but into 2020, I think it was also 2018, I was seeing these little red spiders every time there was a white resonance waves. We, you'd see them often on the chart. And I just, I associated that with the forces of darkness, with arconic energy. And boy, we sure, we sure saw them maybe setting up at that time to be revealed in the current time. Isn't it fascinating? It's fascinating how these images repeat as well. Let me show you something else along those lines. This is interesting too. It's, it's another wave that looks really similar to the wave that we have on the chart today without the angel wing. This is from May 26, 2020. And then here, it looks like this was a tube wave, but we didn't get the full data. But I want to show you today so you can compare it. So this was May two, um, three years ago. You see how similar that looks to this one. It's interesting because, you know, this could look like, you know, the buffalo with a elongated with the long beard. But it could also be reminiscent of that Chinese um, face mask, but just with the man having a long beard with mustache like this, you know. So here you have the mustache hanging off of the face and you, you kind of see the beard behind it here. I just wanted to show you the fascinating energies that seem to be present in the start in the chart, the stories that go along with them. And I wanted to re reference back over the last few years to show you that the wave patterns in terms of the presentation of the white resonance energies, it's so fascinating to me that similar shaped waves of white resonance will appear again and again. And so what I do then is I look at it and I attach meaning to it and even cultural, potentially cultural meaning. And looking at the Schumann resonance as a reflection of human consciousness, since see here, these this hertz range here from zero to 40 is reflective of the same hertz range as human brain waves. So I think that there's a valid case for doing this, um, among other reasons that I go through in my beginning playlist. Thanks for being here, friends.